Hello everybody, my name is Kai Wan. Today I'm going to quick unbox the Sony Xperia XA1 Plus and a full camera review. So, unboxing time. So this phone is a little bit heavy. It's 189 grams. The display size is 5.5 inch, 16 to 9 ratio, nothing special. 3430 mAh battery and it has octa-core CPU from MediaTek, the Helio P20. And a camera, it has the 23 megapixels. 2.0 large sensor so I think it's great at low light and we will check it out later the video cannot shoot in 4k no optical image stabilizer and it have a 8 megapixel front facing camera f 2.0 aperture so time to test the photos and videos so first let's look at the original photos so I take four pictures no color grade straight out from the smartphone so I adjust all the settings in manual mode so I can get the exposure data I want. I think the original picture looks too saturated. So I throw these pictures into Lightroom and I pull the saturation down to look more natural. So I gain the shadows and I lower the highlight. And let you guys see the dynamic range is very good on this smartphone. Our last noise at the shadows. And the color looks pretty good. And next, let's scale the image 1 to 1. 23 megapixels. But the picture looks blurry. Why they don't make their smartphone cameras better? I think Sony compressed their image a lot with a 23 megapixel, but the image size is lower than 5 megabit. We lose too much image detail, but I really like the dynamic range from Sony smartphone cameras. I'm really impressed the detail in the shadows and the detail in the highlight. And the 8 megapixel front facing camera, yep, just okay, nothing special. And let's look at the video quality. The video color looks still very saturated. And let's check out the dynamic range in video mode. So I throw this video into DaVinci Resolve, the color grade software. Yep, and actually it comes out really good. So this phone has an electronic image stabilizer. It comes out with some weird effect. So I'm not a big fan of the, and I think the exposure adjust is a little bit too fast. And it's really annoying. The autofocus is really good. It won't hunt a lot. It will stay in focus wherever you go okay so this is end of this quick unbox video and a camera review so if you like this video press a like and make sure you subscribe my youtube channel and if you want to watch more unboxing video check out this playlist and i will see you guys next time bye bye